chiamo a Bilbao, è eh, già salita su, sul palco, la ringrazio per essere con noi qui oggi, eh, Maria eh, Ferrer eh, della Caritas di, di Bilbao, eh, della Caritas ma anche di eh, Chidenda che eh, penso l'esperienza più diretta di cui ci parlerà. Grazie Maria. Uh, hello. Um, I mean, he's listening all the morning about uh, talking to you about food. I think I'm going to, uh, to bring here different perspectives about this, the food problem because um, I'm, I'm going to talk about fair trade. I'm going to talk about uh, these producers having or not having a fair price. Uh, what happened? They are producing local producers, but are they having a fair price for, for the products? Are they? Uh, so this is what I'm, we're, we're talking about when we're talking about uh, trade. Um, are they having dignity, working conditions? Uh, this is something that we, we don't think about when we uh, are, are buying and producing and consuming. You know? the, the what is behind the products that we, that we buy and that we eat. So um, my experience is the collaboration in fair trade organizations working in Bilbao with the, with the council. And um, I, when, when Giacomo was speaking about Torino, uh, you know, I, I felt very identified because in Bilbao happened the same thing. We have uh, an industry model. We, we, we were building ships. We have thousands of shipyards. And suddenly the crisis, uh, you know, end up with this, with this model and we have to uh, create a new identity. And this identity now is a touristic one. We have the Guggenheim Museum. So, uh, you know, this identity is typical, it's different, and it has a lot of inco incoherences about uh, with the economy and identity and how, how, we, how we are now. Bilbao is uh, located in the Basque Country, in the north of Spain with around two million people of, of population. Um, a little bit of history and context of what is happening in Bilbao and talking about solidarity and fair trade and, and all, these, all these things. Uh, because of our history, because of 20th uh, century history, um, the lack of democracy uh, all around 40 years in our history, we have a culture of lack in awareness of fair trade among the general public. Uh, our first store, a fair trade store, was opened in 1986, while in the world was in 1958, so we are almost 30 years later. Uh, so next year we, we celebrate our 30th anniversary of fair trade movement in Spain, but we are young, but we are young, so we have a lot to do uh, around this. Uh, the average consumption of fair trade in Europe is uh, 13 euros per capita, and in Spain it's 70 cents. So, wow, <laughs> it's, it's a huge, a lot of things to do about that. And the uh, fair trade consumption by the public pro procurement, oh, I'm sorry, is uh, of the total global um, fair trade sales is at 0.09%. So the, um, the public authorities well, uh, they don't think about fair trade when they made their, their purchases. Uh, talking about the people, uh, well, the 85% are very conscious, very solidarity. We think that uh, we have to help countries um, because we want a better world, we want a fairer world. But when we have to pay more for products of the developing countries, such as fair trade uh, products, only 45% would be willing to do that. So these are data of the Eurobarometer. So, uh, you know, thinking and action, you know, is a big step that sometimes we, we don't do. Uh, in Bilbao, uh, you know, facing this scenario that uh, the fair trade is so delayed that people don't know about that, uh, some organizations we started to work with uh, trying to promote the fair trade in, in Bilbao. And we have the collaboration with the Bilbao Council that was and is very important for us. In 2003, we have the, the, the first uh, Fair Trade Week open to the general public. And where our, our objectives were sensitizing people about what is the situation of the producers, promoting fair trade. This is in a real alternative 
for, for the development. Uh, it's important to think about the, the, producing, the producer's conditions, the working conditions, that there are no child labor, uh, well, very important things, and the price that we pay. Uh, also, our, another objective was the, the advocacy work. Politic, as we see here, uh, can make the difference, but we have to push a little bit. We have to make some advocacy work to do that, to, to get that. Uh, the, uh, the, the alliance was between this uh, organization. This is the Fair Trade Steering Group in Bilbao. Uh, we, we have been, you know, ups and downs, but we, we are a very uh, stable group and the Department of the Cooperation in the Bilbao Council. This is us, many women. And with, uh, with Fair Trade Week targets was ethical public procurement. We want to increase this public procurement. We want to increase this 0.09%. We want uh, also to get more critical awareness and promoting solidarity attitudes. We want people to be sensitized, sensitized about what is behind the products that we consume, responsible consumption, and linking fair trade to the local vision. In, in the past country, we have a very important, important movement of agriculture, local agriculture, local farmers. But uh, there is a dichotomy. Uh, people think that fair trade, as we are talking about the coffee and chocolate produced in the, in, in the South America or in Africa, is, is there and the local agriculture is, is here. So we, we think that we have to link these this, uh, visions because the, pro the problems are the same. The problems of the local agriculture uh, are more or less the same. They don't have access to, to, uh, to, the, to the land. They don't have fair prices. They have to work many, many hours to get very, very low uh, money. So here and there, the problems are the same and we have to fight together. So uh, the big event up in Bilbao is the Fair Trade Week. That is a four-day annual event to the general public with fair trade product sale and obviously more, more activities like uh, well, theater, music, dance, Bollywood, and you know, a, lot, a lot of things. Uh, last year, the, uh, the, topic, the general topic of the week was the food sovereignty. And we have uh, one, one very famous cooker there with one star, Michelin star. Uh, during the opening events, and it was very important for us because uh, when you get the media, you get the public. Sometimes you, you need this <laughs> this link. The very, very, very big important collaboration that we have in Bilbao is that uh, we are part of the B uh, Fair Trade Town program. The Fair Trade Town program, probably may some of, of you don't know, is uh, um, a unique movement in the world trying to build uh, fair trade towns all around the world. There are a lot of in Europe, there are a lot of in America, and also in Africa. And the idea is to build a community where the fair trade is involved in all the groups, in all the actors of the community. Uh, if the, if the, all the actors in the city is involved in fair trade, the city is involved in promoting um, fairer, fairer conditions, fairer conditions for the producers. The actors that we, what we look for is educational community, restaurants, offices, private companies, environmental organizations, neighborhood associations, local government, shops, coffees. The idea is that they, all these people uh, must promote and use fair trade products wherever it's possible. Uh, to get the certification as a fair trade town, you have to uh, fulfill five goals. The first one is institutional declaration uh, made by the mayor, usually, uh, of fair, fair trade products in coffees, restaurants, shops. This is a map, a part of the map of Bilbao, uh, where you can find the, the points when you, uh, the, where you can find product, fair trade products. Also, uh, the third condition is that the school, workplace, social organizations must uh, should support fair trade and use fair trade pro products. The fourth one is uh, that the, there is a local steering group, which is the mentioned before, the one in the picture before. And the fifth, uh, the fifth criteria is that the media coverage and event sensitizing people should be all around the, all along the, uh, the year in the city. 
luckily we get the certification in 2012 and the Bilbao Council get the award in, on behalf of all the, all the community. Uh, our challenges, uh, we have many challenges as I said before. Uh, for the future we want to work on the six, uh, on the six world. We want that the um, Fair Trade Town program uh, includes a six, a six criteria. Uh, talking about this local agriculture, we think that it can be possible that a city certificate as a fair trade town doesn't work with local agriculture, doesn't include the local producers on the, on the certification. Uh, so, so we think that we have to get this and we are working with the, with the uh, organization of the, of the certification to, to include this because it's, it's not coherent at all that we, we forget about the local producers to get the, the certification of a trade town. The second, uh, the second challenge, well, we have many challenges, but one, the second one is the policy coherence. What we find is that when we are um, uh, talking about public procurement, it's only in one department. The one that is concerned, the one that is aware of that. Uh, corporation department, yeah, you buy coffee, chocolate, buy agriculture, but what happened with the one by uniforms? Uh, the police uniform is made with organic cotton or not? No. The, the, this idea of, uh, of local procur procurement or fair trade procurement is only one department of the author local authorities. It's only one in the corporation one, in the social one, but it's not thinking about uh, the sports department, what happened? Uh, maybe the, the coffee in the pavilion, in the arena is, uh, or it's not transversal, it's not in the whole authority, it's always happening the same one. We only talk with one department and we want this idea to get involved the whole council in it. Uh, this is a big thing to do. <laughs> the third, <laughs> the third group is developing our goals. We think that in the last 30 years, we have made a lot of advancement in uh, progress in, in all this uh, idea of sensitizing people, but we, don't, we want to, don't want to be comfortable with what we get. Uh, we want to develop our goals. We have to build more sensitizing. Uh, we want to, uh, that the general public think what it is behind the products that you consume. Um, Thank you. <laughs> That's it.